Hi there. It's a rainy day Monday. That's for sure. <laughs> and we're still working on the old drinks and other things. It's a grand old diet. So what Alexa has to say today. Alexa, what do you have to say today? What's new in the world on Monday, June 28, 2021? Sorry, I don't know that one. She don't know a lot of stuff. Alexa, news report. Mike, here's your news. Got important, she called me Mike. Mm. Tech News Briefing is supported by Expensify. More than 10 million people around the globe use Expensify's pre-accounting platform to reimburse expenses, manage business credit cards, generate invoices, pay bills, and plan trips from one easy-to-use app. Start Download your morning off right with the news and some of this stuff. WSJ today. This is your Tech News Briefing for Monday, June 28th. I'm Amanda Wellen for the Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal now. With the proliferation of smartphones, we're all carrying around a powerful tool for gathering and sharing information. Oh my goodness. And some companies are taking advantage of that in surprising ways. On today's show, we'll talk about one app that's using a network of gig workers to collect basic intelligence. Information that the company then shares with customers, including corporations and the U.S. military. Be prepared to crush eyes. Now has a scoop. After these headlines. says hackers installed malicious software on one of its systems and used information gathered there to launch highly targeted attacks on at least Blend, yeah. of its customers. It was part of a broader campaign that used various hacking techniques to attack mainly tech companies and government agencies. Microsoft said it acted quickly to secure the compromised system. The company identified the hackers as Nobelium, the same group oh, involved in the massive like solar attack. You know, sometimes I only want to listen to good news. You know what the good news of the day is? Aside, aside from Jesus being the good news. It's called Keto OS. I don't know what you call it. Pure therapeutic ketones. The raspberry lemonade flavor. Dump down into the old friend here. Gin bled. Gin bled. <laughs> Can't even talk. My tongue has been getting tired more often lately than it needs to. Jet Flynn. Jet Flynn. You know, it's sad when you wake up in the morning and when your legs are numb, or partially numb. But you know, at least I woke up, at least they're moving. Oh my goodness, no one wants to ever hear this grand noise, but it, it, it's, it's, it's a twirling device, I'll guarantee you that. Look at that. Yeah, about 40 years ago, on a battery. Hmm. Bring forth your spirit. 
splendid drink. Amen and hallelujah. Here we go. There we go. That's nice and frothy. Got to see my better side. By putting that ice in there, it brings it up a nice little head like a beer on there. Mmm. Yes, I'm out of camera range now. Maybe I'll have to, uh, edit that portion of it out. I don't know. I might say something brilliant. be having too many calories. I seem to be stuck in my weight. But that I need to get some exercise in. Extra size could be the answer. Some good vigorous exercise always does the trick. I got my drink to sip on. Belle Belle says, hurry up and give her eggs, you know. She loves eggs. Okay. Some eggs. We have some squash. We have a chunk of meat. Also have some quiche. All right. So, oh man, that quiche looks good. That's too much quiche to be eating there. Get me off. food diet here. Food consumption. Pulling off the cover is totally like that is bad business. There's a lot of bad business in the world, but one thing about pulling off the saran wrap from Chef Janji's kitchen and putting it in her refrigerator not properly zipped up or covered. Those things like that, son, are just not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Just like not sweeping the floor right. She missed the spot over there. And she wonders about her poor old daddy sometimes. Her daddy was a stickler for sweeping the floor. Matter of fact, nobody could hardly sweep it correctly. Except for Chris. He said, well, that boy could sweep the floor. <laughs> yeah, what do you know about that? <laughs> you found somebody that could sweep the floor just like you. 
Yep. Okay. Nah. Uh, come on, put the squash in, in here. I'm calling it squash. For some reason, unbeknownst to me, that was probably a bad word, a wrong word. Pronounced in a wrong fashion. Because English is really my second language. That's why I mispronounce so many words. Mm -hmm. Yes, English is my second language. The Green family basically have their own language. That's why we pronounce things so funny. Okay. Your microwave. I was zap for about a minute and 30 seconds. Sit down here. Relax for a minute. Yep. We're not going to be standing up over by the sink today. But could be. Can you see out there? Look at that. And the rains come falling down once again. Seems like it rains a little bit more this year than it has been. You know, again, we start off this week thinking, how are we going to make it to Friday? Or how are we going to make the payroll Friday? That's a heck of a way to live for 40 something years, isn't it? But you know, I have a lot in common with some people that lived long ago. A long time ago and what they had to depend upon oh or was some kind of magical well-balanced meal that fell out of the sky every day they called it manna hmm. how would you like to depend upon that I guess, of course, God he kind of misjudged him a little bit. If God, God makes mistakes, come on. Hmm. God never makes an error. How disappointed would we be if he did? <laughs> then you think, it was an error that he made me? Oh, no. Plastic thing that hangs upside down in the old uh, microwave there. Cover up the food, our food, that we're about to consume. And uh, it's a splatter, splatter proof thing. Well, that splatter proofer thing is. Uh, Is an annoyance at times. Now, what's a real annoyance is not to have any knives in the knife place. It's because they're all dirty over here. Put away this cleanly. Oh. As you can see, I have a computer out here this morning, set out here before me, and the reason it's there is I need to go to work. And if I have to get up after I leave from this little video diary then and go somewhere else then I probably will be a little bit slow about my, my business. Well Lord God thank you for today. Thank you for the food that you've given me to eat. Thank you for love and kindness and peace and tranquility and for the manna that falls from heaven. And in my case the manna that falls from heaven in, into my refrigerator in the form of eggs and steak and a quiche and some cabbage. For we all know it comes from you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, the, all things come from God. Think about the earth. Earth is just a large organism teeming with food.
a large garden. Life is nothing but a garden. So life is full of predators and victims. And some victims are predators until you reach the top of the food chain, which is supposed to be us and our magical thinking. And as far as food is concerned, I guess we're not too worried about being eaten these days. But in times in the past we were. Now we just developed tools to ultimate goal was to keep from being eaten. And the ultimate tool of survival is mental capacity. Because you could be strong, fast, but if you were dumb, it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't know what to do with strong and fast. You used to be strong and fast and dumb. And get killed by a smart cannibal and eaten. <laughs> now, isn't that food for thought? Bellis is a relentless animal about food. She loves it. She hates the rain, but she loves food. But she has arthritis and some kind of bone spurs that develop along her spine. She loves egg yolks. So. Mm -hmm. For years and years, I have been eating egg whites for breakfast. And uh, I think it's more of a habit than anything else. Chef Tangy prepares egg whites or boiled eggs in the evening, and um, they're there, so it's been a real treat for that. I don't know. <clears throat> Either I would be a lot uh, skinnier, or I would be a lot fatter. I'm not sure yet what that would be, considering she prepares good, healthy things for me to eat. But I usually eat too much, hence some of the problem. Or, you know, during the day I would go and eat a, you know, a hamburger or some other high caloric french fries or, you know, something that's not good for me. And then slowly, Maybe not slowly, but it certainly occurred. I would get gain weight. I mean, you know, I've been this weight before and lost it. And I've been heavier than this and lost it. And maintaining the proper balance has been difficult. Mm -hmm. I sound like a little bit like Porky Pig there. Difficult. Difficult. You know, in today's world, I'm pretty sure that Porky Pig would be banned. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have Porky Pig on as a, as a child's cartoon. You're afraid one of them out there would stutter and someone would mess with him and call him Porky Pig. So you'd have to forget about that. If we run society today, the rules that we have, 
We would have never had Porky Pig in this world. Mm -mm. And you know, quite possibly, it may go back and erase everything that had Porky Pig on it. Go back all the way to the creation of Porky Pig. I don't know when that was. Probably the 30s, maybe the 20s. I don't know. I guess it'd have to be long when sound came about. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. Let's find out about Porky Pig. Hmm? Oh, magic, oh, magic Alexa. Alexa, can you tell me about Porky Pig? Who was Porky Pig? Here's the Wikipedia article on Porky Pig. Here we go. Okay. Porky Pig is an animated character in the Warner Brothers Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies series of cartoons. He was the first character created by the studio to draw audiences based on the star power, and the animators created many critically acclaimed shorts featuring the character. Mm. Even after he was supplanted by later characters, Porky continued to be popular with moviegoers, and more importantly, the Warner's directors, who recast him in numerous everyman and sidekick roles. Would you like me to continue? Oh, yes, please. Yes. Mm. He is known for his signature line at the end of many shorts, TH, 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 that's all folks. His slogan had also been used by both Bosco and Buddy and even Beans at the end of Looney Tunes cartoons. In contrast, the Merry Melodies series used the slogan, So Long Folks until the mid-1930s when it was replaced with the same one used on the Looney Tunes series. He is the oldest continuing Looney Tunes character. Would you like me to keep reading? Yes, please. Porky's most distinctive trait is a severe stutter, for which he sometimes compensates by replacing his words. For example, what's going on? Might become what's go 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 what's happening? Porky's age varied widely in the series. Originally conceived as an innocent seven-year-old piglet, Porky was more frequently cast as an adult, often being cast as the competent straight man in the series in later years. In the ending of many Looney Tunes cartoons, Porky Pig bursts through a bass drum head, and his attempt to close the show with the end becomes THTH the THTH the THTH. That's all, folks. Porky Pig appeared in 153 cartoons in the golden age of American animation. Would you like me to keep reading? Uh, no, thank you. you see, that's a prime example right there of the way things have come down. Mm -hmm. You hear Alexa go, T-H, T-H, she couldn't even go, da, 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 that's all, folks. Couldn't, she couldn't do it. She was not programmed to uh, really, unless that, she would consider that making fun of or a sport um, of an animated object like a pig. Hmm. So, Porky is the oldest of all of them. Older than the rabbit. The, the, the old rabbit. Oh, you still a rabbit, old Elmer Fudd. It's just thinking back about all these things that have happened over the years. and Humor as we used to look at it. Can't even have that anymore. Well, just because we're making fun of a pig. It doesn't mean that it's, we're making fun of somebody that has a speech impediment. Imperfections in part of life. Made him. Why do they have the same? Let's ask this Alexa. Where did, where did the saying red headed stepchild come from? If she didn't hear me, I'll try it again. Alexa. Where did the saying redheaded stepchild come from? Mm -hmm. I don't think she wants to answer that. 
Alexa, can you tell me where the saying redheaded stepchild came from? Well, apparently that's not part of what she wants to talk about today. No. Well, what do I want to talk about today? Peace, tranquility, good news, forgiveness of all debt, the year of Jubilee. Mm -hmm. If something's going to be returned from the Bible, I wish it would be the year of Jubilee. That happened every 50 years. Well, I'm sure that I've lived past the year of Jubilee in some form or fashion. Maybe I should claim my year of Jubilee. Wouldn't that be nice if there was a way that we could just say, mm -hmm. claim your year of Jubilee? <laughs> I would have probably wasted mine <laughs> already. Yeah, back when I thought maybe that I needed it. Oh, this is the time I need to use the year of Jubilee. Not knowing what the time ahead would lead to, where that would be. You know, my guitar teacher told me something the other day that was I felt kind of interesting. He was saying, Mike, you can't think about this as, like, as an engineer would think. You have to feel this. You can't pull it all apart and analyze it. Not, not like you're doing. You need to feel it. You need to get into the groove of it. You just let it happen and get in the flow. I wonder about that. I see there. Maybe I should be a drug addict and I can play the guitar really well. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But it is interesting as to the way some things in life are structured to a point to where you really need to give thought, methodical. Procedure and then other things that just gotta let it flow, you know. Let it flow. Yeah. <sighs> Chef Changi, you did wonderful today or last night with preparation of this food, this the quiche. It was really good. I liked I had all three pieces there, but I didn't do it. I better keep some for labor or later. See, there's another 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 food pop speech impediment thing I've got and I can make fun of the pig. They said I was boy, I can not I can't talk half the time. Vaver. I'm waiting for Vaver to know what we eat. <laughs> Wait for Vaver. Well it's raining and they got the signal seven seven one from the satellite has an issue. Satellite must be really up there, huh? Because there's an issue with it right now. Issue with the transmission of the satellite. The signal is not getting into my home. Now it's here on the Hallmark Channel and there's some people riding down the beach with a bunch of bat, uh, presents in the back of a coop. Uh, uh, how you ride on a beach on a bicycle in the sand? Don't. Well, here's a combination for you. Coffee drinkers, Folgers, family fresh since 1850. That'd be a trick, wouldn't it? Well, every 
everybody loves pizza, the Giorgio, the family pizza delivery guy. Is, well, no, it's a different commercial now. Oh my Lord, he's got a box of fresh vegetables and they're at the beach again. And, you know, Sky Risha, what is that? Oh, he's got to get clear skin. He's out there playing cornhole on the beach. Oh, hole in one. He's just too good for everybody. He's gonna take his shirt off now because he no longer has psoriasis. Nothing is everything, so he has, what are they? Sky Rizzi. Uh-oh, sweet 16 birthday. The father is smiling and everything for the daughter. What, do you give her a car? Oh my gosh, he gave her a fancy blue car. It's all about blue in that commercial. Wasn't really new. It was a old uh, Chevrolet Tahoe. I forgot what was the name of the Bronco. Bronco, but it was a Chevrolet. Whatever. Um, I find this drink really refreshing. been a very boring moment, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I guarantee you this is no, we got the Geico guy here on TV. I wish I could share this. I have to get up and move the camera. Should be watching TV with me, shouldn't you? That way we can comment it all together. Got a little midget boy out here with a electronic sailboat flying the Geico guy around in the lake and look like in Chicago. Uh-oh, gonna go down the rabbit hole here. Blue bunny. Blue bunny time. We'll do our ice cream. Oh no, someone's on our phone laughing. E-Harmony. Uh-oh, bye guy. Uh-oh, E-Harmony. That, that was a purely a... Uh, you can make all kinds of fun out of that one. Okay. Here we go with some people that sweat. Now she's going to make them. She made a bunch of money out of secret deodorant. Mm -hmm. that, 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 what the hell's her name? Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's probably people eating the flapjacks. How come it is it? It's always skinny, pretty people eating food. Instead of some big fat guy, you know, pegging down on something. They don't, they don't show you the results of pegging down. They just show you this guy that's happy shoving food down his throat. <laughs> With so much syrup. Ah, there's a disgusting thing here. This must be Blue Day. We got Blue Boy here on TV. Some guy named Easton Corbin. I don't know who that is. What the hell do this guy is over here with blue socks on and blue? And here's another smiley bastard that's you know, farmer feed American. He must, he, oh, I guess he's a music guy, whatever. Well, well, that's why I don't need the sound to watch this stuff because I can make up my own music with it. Well, he looks like a friendly sort though. Got a guy, he likes dogs, so that's a plus for him. Easton Corp, country music artist. Well, son. Yep. They say country music. Country music died in the 60s. We don't need to listen to anything after that. <laughs> Maybe the 70s. After that, man, who cares? Not supposed to even your mouth full. Mm -hmm. See how that go. You're not supposed to eat with your mouth full. You see now, 
that was really kind of funny. So you're talking about, you're not supposed to eat with your mouth full, you're not supposed to talk with your mouth full. Apparently my brain associated eating with your mouth full and talking with your mouth full is the same thing. This could be eating your words. Okay. Well, I've consumed what the earth turned loose it was the fruit of the tree of Mother Earth. Now, what I've ate today there can probably feed a family of four for a whole day in Africa somewhere. Too bad I'll never get to meet them. But, and how do I know that's even true? Why? Oh, skepticism everywhere. So, today we're going to have a short prayer because I feel kind of boring. I shouldn't feel boring, but I do. So anyway, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And Father, we thank you for today. Me and Bella both, I'm sure if she could talk, she would be praying too. Pray for her, Lord, that you just watch over my little puppy dog that's so old now and she's not really so little. So I just ask you that you just keep her out of pain. And that's the main thing. We don't want her to be in pain with the arthritis that she has. So, though well, I don't know why I prayed for her first, but you know, I guess that she's, uh, maybe she needs it today. Well, thank you for meeting the obligations that we have for our business. Thank you for the health that's in our bodies. Thank you for, for the love that we have in our life. I pray for family and pray for friends. Pray for the 15 grandchildren you've blessed me with. Play, pray, pray for their protection. And if I could talk the right way today where you, someone may understand it 100 years from now when they dig it up. Or maybe next week, who knows. But I pray for all of them. I pray for all of my sons, both sons that I have, their wives and Thank you for giving them health in their bodies and strength in their minds and giving them peace and protection in this world. Everybody has their specific needs, Lord. It doesn't matter if you're rich, you're poor, or you're in the middle. Everybody has something. And for the whatever they have, either in the boys and their wives, I pray that you hear their prayers and you help them to come to the best point possible and to learn how to deal with each situation. The school of life never stops, never does stop. It's never out for summer. We know that, Father, and thank you for it. There's never a recess in the moment of school of life. So, whether we're on the playground, in the classroom, in the bathroom, or in the principal's office, we just ask your continual presence with us. Pray for business, Lord, that you continue to bless us with business. You would give us the ability to think clearly and to do business. Thank you for the retirement years you've blessed me with. Thank you for everything that, that you've been granted me favor with. Thank you for telling me in advance at times what I should do even when I didn't do it. For it's enlightenment to look back upon what you told me and what I didn't do, and what I could see the results. In some cases, I'm still too dumb to follow and do the right thing. But thank you that I have antennas that hear and view talking to me. So I just ask you, Lord God, that you continue to watch over me through my years and talk with me and, and help me. Pray for my dear mommy, old 88-year-old gal. Keep her safe. I just thank you, Father, that you'll strengthen her body because she looks even a little bit more tired of late. Then I pray for my brother, Ted and Timmy. I just pray that you just keep them in peace and health. My dear sister, Twyla, my cousin, Lori, and for our little family that we have. 
I pray for peace, protection, and health to be in their bodies and strength. And may you fill them with faith in God. For the friends that I have over all my years of life, the ones that I've talked to and ones that I mentioned occasionally, and Lord, for all of them, I thank you for their input that they've been to me. For all the enemies that I have in this life, I pray for them also. I don't pray that they change their mind about me or their heart necessarily, but I do pray, Lord God, your blessing down upon them. That you give them the, what they need in this life. And that you help them. It doesn't matter what I think of them or what, what position they're, that I put them in, Lord. What matters is what you do with them and how do they look, behave with you and, and their part of life with you. So I do pray for the enemies and the people that might not like me very much. You know, I pray for the fact that maybe I don't like them and I just need to let it go. Also pray that I understand the golden rule and I'm able to try to live, not try, but to live by it. And if I love you, God, more than I love anything else. All these things are definitely difficult at times to do in the human condition. And I'm certainly glad the human condition is a temporary thing. You have to think about that a little bit, thinking about the human condition being temporary. For if we're out of this body, we're no longer human. We become totally spiritual and we're released from the prison of the flesh. Lord, Thank you for rain, thank you for flowers, thank you for sunshine, thank you for everything. May we be little children in our hearts and see everything fresh and new. Help me today to do the things I need to do in this computer to put together these people's desires, hearts, desire of concrete. <laughs> and just give me that anointing wisdom. So I'm in this prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and hallelujah. And before we end, I need to get a little closer to the camera because I need to talk up close and personal. <clears throat> okay, Mike. See all that, Mike? Remember that? Remember how you got that? <laughs> this is for you, about you, solely for your entertainment and purposes. You're the one that gleans the most for this, and you're the one that started this for yourself. You started this because you are on a quest to lose weight, and you're also on a quest to know God. And through this quest, it is a diary of sorts, a video diary, because you're not the kind of guy that's going to sit down and write this out very, are you? No, you're not. But remember, this is about you, only you, not for anyone else. If they get something from it, great. But this is for you to review and listen to yourself. You need it more than anyone else. Okay? You listening? Because this is the good side of you talking to the, the nasty, big old, fill the room with badness side. Look at your ass straightened out and get to work. Okay? Yep, yeah, the good side can say ass occasionally. But you know you need to get to work. So, with that, the finger will push the button and say, Get to work. <laughs>